my dad is a cinematographer, and he kind of turned us on to some stuff pretty early um, that he liked growing up, so older stuff, yep. like uh, from the 60s, French New Wave, kind of Godard and Truffaut. And any things you can remember about, like, maybe him sitting you down and telling you to watch this specific movie or, like, any of the works that he did? Or... Yeah. Um, just him, uh, like, thinking and talking about film um, in that way, like, keyed us into how much work goes into it. Yeah. You know, when you see that stuff as a kid, you're just kind of like, this is cool, I like it. Yeah, I'm this is fun, it. or, like, yeah. this person is interesting. But then you see and he's like, oh, but that, look how that shot was composed. Like, look, look how he chose to, like, frame it in this way. And um, I think that... It influenced a lot us uh, musically too. Just yeah. Kind of thinking about oh how why is that snare sound the way it sounds? You know, did it did they just set something up and it sounds raw and live because that was their choice or does it sound really processed and intentionally you know yeah. put in the mix in this way? Yeah. Um, when you watch a film, there is there's so many elements that are contributing to the way you feel about sure. a character or a story. You know. Sure. Um, just the costume design and the color, like the film they chose to shoot on, the way they edited it, all the, the soundtrack, all that stuff. And I think us thinking about that kind of now has steered us as artists in, in Pop Etc. and how we want to use this project um, to express ourselves is because we love, we love the art of production. Mm. And that's kind of why we like to have this broad uh, approach to our music yeah, and explore yeah, yeah. all these different things because we think that our, just our approach will unite it. That's yeah. the idea. Yeah, so we can if, try all these different sounds. If there's something that you can bring production-wise that everyone knows is pop, etc., then right. even in the future, if you're writing country music or yeah. something like yeah, that, which we would like to do. I mean, the that's, same sound. Yeah, totally. And yeah. that's our hope. I mean, that's very ambitious. I don't know if we'll ever get the opportunity to do those things. Sure. But, you know, we made like four albums now, and they're all quite different. And I produced and wrote for a bunch of other artists, too. And it's just... It's, it's fun. You know, you learn something new all the yeah. time, and you. I'm very restless as a, as a writer and a person. So I just like getting to do that, and it keeps me inspired and fresh. And I think people intuit that. You know, when they hear your music or yeah. meet you in person or see you live or whatever, yeah. if you see bands that are so disenchanted sometimes, yeah, uninspired, and it's just, you know, that's fine. But I, I want to be someone that's excited about life and about creating things, and yeah. I want that to be kind of the message that we send through our whatever persona. In that way, do you feel like you're fulfilling the director role when you are writing, when you are like producing music, when you're attaching yeah, it to art? Yeah, I, and... I guess so. I mean, it's hard because I feel like so much of what we do, um, because it we started so early and we found this as kids, this mm -hmm. interest in this, mm -hmm. it feels almost out of our control at this point. It's just this thing we were raised with. Yeah, and just sort of rolling. And when we've been playing music for a long time too, so it's just, it kind of flows out of us at this point. Um, it's funny, so my dad is a, um, my, that side of my family is Chinese and they immigrated here from China. And he has this kind of mindset of, you know, you gotta find a way to make ends meet. And mm. so he has that mentality. So. He balances out his support with, you know, you could go back and, you know, get a, you know, business degree. Yeah, or like, be. <laughs> got like my brother before he joined the van, he was in college, and he's like, you know, you could be a doctor. It's like very well respected. You make a lot of money. It's like, yeah, I don't know. It's like so, backhanded compliments. Yeah, that show like, is great, but remember yeah. medical I mean, school. He cannot control that. So I totally understand. It's just the way he was raised and like has that. That's what his parents wanted for him. And, yeah. And he became a filmmaker. So. It's like he understands that we are, you know, first pursuing this creative um, calling. For sure. Um, but but he, that's in no, him I to should remind say, you. He is very supportive, though. Both our parents, my mom's super supportive, too. And um, they're a little angry at me when I pulled John out of college to join the bands. But besides that, it's awesome. <laughs> Clean slate, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bad. You guys are doing well, so they should yeah, be proud yeah, of they're, that. They're, they're psyched. Yeah. Yeah. They hear our music come on like Whole Foods or something, and they think, you know, oh. It's like that's like a real thing. That's cool. <laughs> Sweet.